Good day, mate. Kia ora. Sup, bro? Hey, your Kiwi's sounding awesome. How's it going down under? Hey, have you tried walking barefoot to the dairy yet? I'm currently in transition. Duncan, I think I've made a mistake in the flat. Oh, cheers, Jörg. Here you go. The tea towel stinks. You give me a new one? Yeah, you might have sounded a bit harsh there. But the towel was smelling very bad, Duncan. Well, that may well be, Jörg, but in New Zealand, you just can't be that direct. If you have to confront somebody about an issue, there are some unwritten rules about how to approach it. I like rules. I take notes now. Okay, rule number one. Don't say anything at all. Wie bitte? We Kiwis have a proud tradition of not talking about our problems. We don't like to assume we can tell other people what to do. So what I'd do in your position is just put up with the smelly tea towel, Jörg. Das ist so nervig. Germans also have a proud tradition of clean kitchens. Is there nothing else I can do? Yeah, well, if you have to address the problem, rule number two is do it, but start by making friendly conversation on an unrelated topic like this. So, Ange, how's your mother these days? After two or three minutes, it will be safe to raise the issue of the tea towel. But it will seem like a spontaneous aside. And then I say it smells bad and ask for a new one, stimmt's? Um, not quite. Rule number three is, don't state the problem. Hint at it by offering to fix it yourself, for example. And if you really have to confront the issue head on, use language like a wee bit or a tad. Apologize now and then, and don't forget to use liberally words like possibly, might, and would you mind if. I think from now on I just stay in my room. Nah, you'll get the hang of it, mate. Oh, there's just one more really important rule. Rule number five, make your voice go up at the end of the sentence. This will make it seem like a question, and it will reassure the other person that you might be wrong after all. So, let's put it all together. Sorry to hear about your mum's varicose vein operation, Ange. That sounds awful. Hey, Ange, sorry, but do you, do you think it might be okay if I possibly got a fresh tea towel? Only if you've got one. I was wondering if this one could maybe do with a bit of a wash. I don't mind doing it. Aber warum? Es ist alles so kompliziert. Yeah, I'm actually finding it pretty refreshing how you Germans just get straight to the point. I've jotted down some of my favorites. Das ist falsch. Ich mag kein Sauerkraut. Oh, and this one's quite common. Nein. Ich gehe jetzt. Yeah, that's a good one, Jörg. No, I really mean it. I have to go now. Oh, I get you. Hey, try it again in Kiwi English. Okay. Um, sorry, Duncan. Would you mind if I'm possibly going away now? Awesome, bro. Oh, you'll have it in no time. Hey, Jörg, I bought you a pie. Steak and cheese. What do you think? And how is your mother?